What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today this video is going to be a little, uh, kind of done not as well as I normally try to do it. Um, I have a, uh, festival I'm going to, so I'm like trying to get ready for that, and I just wanted to get a quick video out this week, and I actually just got off the phone with my therapist. Um, I have therapy, I have brain problems, and, uh, I talk to someone about them. I think a lot of people should. One of the things that I asked my therapist is a peculiar, a, a peculiar, a lot of advice that I hear from like different therapy or like self-help things is, you know, to, to let something go if, if, if it's something that you want. So like, for example, me personally, I have this probably unhealthy obsession with some, someone and whenever I try to hold on to it and grab it and take it for mine, the, the person becomes more distant. They, 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 it, it's harder for me to, to connect with them. Um, and, and a lot of things start to go wrong when, when, I, when I have this, this strong grip on, on the person. But as I release my grip, as I relax myself, and as I, you know, let go of this person, they end up being closer. And this actually applies to a lot of different things. So if I have like a very firm grip on my, my music, for example, if I'm like obsessed and it's like, I need to make music, I have to make music, it has to get done. Everything needs to happen this specific way, you know, that it never does get done. It never happens. It, it, it becomes distant and harder to grasp. And I was curious as to like, why when you try harder at something, does it seem to get further away? You know, whether it be with relationships, whether it be with music, whether it be with anything that you really kind of can set your mind to do, why does it get further away the harder you, you grasp at it? And I asked him that, and the answer I got was fascinating because it feels counterintuitive that if you let something go, it comes to you. And that just seems backwards. Like if you want, you know, if I want to get a sip of water, I grab the glass and I take the sip. You know, why doesn't that work with other things? Well, the answer is because it's not that you're letting it go. What you're holding on to is an avoidance. So when I'm, when I'm really stressed out about music, for example, I, I'm not holding on to this notion of, oh, I have to do this thing, so it needs to get done. I'm not actually, you know, that might be what I'm saying in my head, but it's not actually what I'm feeling. I, what I'm feeling is this is such a big deal, I'm avoiding these problems. And so it becomes more distant because I don't have the strength to actually face it head on. And so as I release that grip, as I lower the pressure, as I lower the threshold, the, the music will come naturally because you're not, you're not avoiding it anymore. It's not about letting it go. It's about letting the fear of it go. And when you let go of that fear, that's when things can start to come naturally to you and things can start to feel more comfortable as they happen. And so like one of the, one of the quotes I got from him, um, I don't remember who it was attributed to, but generally the best way out of something is through it. And this actually kind of ties into my last video in a weird enough way um, where you, you, you're facing the, the, the project head on instead of procrastinating it by doing some perfection um, that, that you won't be able to achieve. And that's really all I wanted to mention um, was I got a cool thing from my therapist. Um, if you can get one, definitely do so. Um, if you can't, but you're still having a crisis, I actually highly recommend calling the suicide hotline. It is kind of scary to call that number, um, but because you think it's like, oh, well, if, you know, I have to be having something, you know, dangerous and, and imminent, but you don't. I actually called the hotline once a while ago when I was just having a really, really bad day. And the, 
the, the, the needing to be able to structure my problem in a way where a total stranger could understand it was very helpful in helping, in helping me through that problem. And so you don't need to be, you know, finger on the trigger to call the hotline. If you just need someone who is there to listen to you, I highly recommend calling and I highly recommend talking. Um, numbers in the, it's so easy to find the number, just Google suicide hotline. I'll link the number in the description. Um, but I, just a quick thing, um, therapy's cool. I highly recommend it. Um, talking to strangers about your problems helps, helps. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.